Hello everybody, and welcome back to more God of War. Um, last left off, I went to... Man, I don't even know what it was, but I, I flipped the Bifrost, or I flipped the travel room or whatever. And then I went to Niflheim, or Niflheim, not really sure how to pronounce it. And I've done a little bit of exploring in between the two parts, or between the parts here. As you can see, I have uh, full Niflheim armor. And I wanted to play a little bit before I got here, but the thing is, like... Uh, whenever I turned on my PlayStation, looks like this is where the game has forced me to continue. So I'm actually already in the world tree, and looks like up here pretty soon I'm gonna have to go off to the side and use the Unity Stone or what it's, it sounds like the Avengers. By the way, I saw Avengers: Infinity War um, at the time of this recording on the release night, and boy, we're not gonna get into spoilers, but boy. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, so like. Excuse the combat, I might be a little bit rusty because I haven't played in a little bit, and I didn't really get a chance to kill anybody before I started recording this episode, so I'm gonna have to, you know, get my skills back. Don't worry, but I'll get them back. Alright, here we go. This has been here the entire game, this little spot right here, and I've always wondered, like, what's gonna happen whenever you go to the right? Turns out, it seems to be the key to Jotunheim all along. Possibly, we'll see. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith, Head. This is incredible! I How can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Clever. Is Jotunheim on the other side? It can't be that. It's not <clears> like <throat> you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Also, man, another side note, my headphones broke. So now I'm not using the ones I usually use, and it is a fat bummer, guys. I want to play Siege, but I gotta get some new headphones, because the ones I'm using right now are just straight garbage. I don't know how they broke either. I legit don't know. I wasn't touching them. Uh, I went to sleep and I didn't play the game for a day. And I came back. All of a sudden they were broken. So I was like, what the? What happened? What happened? They weren't broken when I left them. And it's not like the audio is bugged or anything. Like the actual headphone itself is cracked and broken. I don't know. Alright, let me get a fight to warm. Look how clean this armor looks, guys. I don't know if I like it more than the lava one. But the stats are better and it is higher level. And it does look pretty dope. It looks kind of like a dark matter type of deal, you know? Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Well, I just looked at the back of my axe. I just realized the back of my axe is clean as hell. Hang on, we're going to take a look at that for a sec. I never noticed. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Looks like a room to fight in. That's for damn sure. It's a good thing, too, because like, your boy needs to warm up. Oh, no! It took the stone! The tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? It's moving! It knows what to do! The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. <laughs> oh, no, this is considerably worse. It's considerably worse. And this is why I use the Chaos Blades! Oh, 
I'm guessing we're gonna have to go through a few a few challenges. This seems like some sort of challenge round. No, where are we? Oh, looks like Alpha. Here we go. Oh shit! I blocked. Yeah, get you some of that. Damn it. Oh god. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Oh shit! Come my eyes! <laughs> it burns! <laughs> I can't see shit! Oh my god, I can't see shit! That was awesome! Where do you think it's taking us next? I do not know. We're back in Helheim. Oh dear. Helheim. Here they come. We're going through challenges of each realm. The enemies ahead. <laughs> my weapons, uh, my my axe won't work against these guys. I did like a bunch of challenges on the lava place, this place, and I've been exploring in Niflheim or whatever. You know, my skills have improved. Oh shit! Two out of that was awesome! You couldn't have asked for a better entrance. Oh my god, guys, chill. My son. Oh, Jesus, Lord. That was an amazing jump. Bitch, let's go! Come here, boy! Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh shit, that dude just dropped the hammer on me, bro. Yes! <laughs> I fucking love this game. Oh, we got a You stopped. A light unique attack. Aye. But where are we? One sec, we'll take a look at it. Uh... All right, we're gonna buy it and upgrade it completely. Yeah, I have a, I have so much XP. Should I do it now? Or just wait? I'll just wait. Probably gonna come across more enemies here. Oh, am I going for a door? I need to go for the door. Okay, looks like it. So here, let me do this first. Okay, was there a second part that I missed it at? Nope, that was it. Well, we'll see how it does against enemies. I mean, it's pretty cool. Look, we're back in Midgar. There's the bridge. We did it. The tower's back where it belongs. Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tia, tells you just how desperate they were. And look, now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. We can finally light all the braziers too. Another name. Loindel. It's the what? name of one of the Valkyries. Should we That's light the braziers, or should we continue with the story? Uh, we have we have we have a lot of time in this episode. We're gonna light the goddamn braziers. I must know, but I also must know about the story too. So I'm just like, ah. <laughs> Looks like Thor hasn't been lit. The one over there hasn't been lit. Oh, I saw a little upgrade thing back right there. You see that? Gives me a permanent upgrade. We'll pick we'll uh, we'll pick that up on the way as well. That one attack, the L1 and R1, like the light runic attack for the blades, um, it does like a really quick cooldown, so that's that's a bonus, you know? There's something down there. Oh. This looks like a, a little place to explore over here. Um, I saw a little thing right there where you can increase you your uh, overall so stuff. It's my career! And if you mean to make a career as a counselor to kings, he can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. My first master was a cruel piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Never spikes to the last. We get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. What the oh. fuck? Then one day he was not amused, and I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads travelled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. I don't know what that was, guys. Looks like a traveler up there. So I, do, I am going to continue the story depending on how much time we have left per episode. Now, I haven't actually done some exploring since... Um, I don't know if it's, if it's since the World Serpents came down, but I don't recognize that place over there. So I need to do you know a bit more exploring for sure. And I will. 
But as of right now, I'm trying to light these braziers and continue the story. So I think I have this one and maybe two more. I'm not sure. Maybe three, I don't know. Looks like this one, at least two. Two after this one. Oh. Alright. Can I go on the, on the other side? I feel like there's a reason we haven't been able to light Thor's brazier throughout the entire game just yet. I don't know if I can now. Or what. You know, because actually I think this is the entrance into, yeah, the witch's cave. So this is the entrance to the witch's cave. Can you climb that? Looks like maybe you can go along this mountain right here. And then get to Thor's statue from there. Cause it doesn't look like you can you can get on there any other way, you know? Oh, calm down there. Add this to the map. Alright, let's climb this because I'm sure, I'm guessing that's the way it looks. It looks like I saw some climbing stuff over there by Thor. I don't know what I'm moving. Probably the spikes, yeah? Yeah, I'm like... I don't know what's up this way either, so I'm gonna go check this room just real fast. Oh, it looks like I need to break those spikes first, or...? So maybe this is the way I'm supposed to go. I need to move I need to move those spikes. Okay, so spikes are Oh, okay. I see how this works. Heard of Aya Odin too. Pretty sure there's a chest down there too. I might have missed, but I'll go back there and grab it. Probably not while I'm recording, but yeah, in between episodes, I'm gonna try. I'm trying to do you know my free roam stuff, and if I come across things that are just like super interesting that I feel like I should make a video about, I do that. Let's go ahead and drop this here chain. Wow. Okay, so this is... Oh, jeez. Whoa, my controller just glitched out there. Dude, my shit is glitching. Hang on one sec, guys. Not that one. Yeah, my stuff is still kind of glitching out, so if this stuff continues, then uh, I might have to cut the video up a little bit or something, because like my audio is bugging out, and so is my controller. It's like, what the fuck? You know, make me turn the other direction and bugging out the audio in my ear? Not cool, man. Not cool, mate. But it sure looks like I'm heading on the right path to Thor's... Um, what is it, Temple? What is this thing? Razor, I guess. Thor's Razor.
another thing? Another like lore thing? Here. Oh, yeah, cool. Another one. This one is Thrym, a frost giant king. Correct. A cunning one as well. Is that Mjolnir? Did he steal Thor's hammer? Aye, for a time. A lot of these seem to end with Thor killing them. Imagine that. Imagine that. This man Thor is a goddamn killer. Make that jump, boy. Wow, okay. You're amazing. Symbol of menace? Is all, I, mean, I don't really know like what I don't remember what that is, honestly. If I'm... Whoa, that traveler looks a little bit different than usual. I do not fear you. <laughs> Oh shit, he went for a double time. Let's give him the hands. Uh, I wanted to do the, uh, the special move on him, you know? Another name. Carl. Another Valkyrie. That's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers? Aha. Uh -huh. So I don't know how many of them have been Valkyries, but I believe there's eight Valkyries and eight Braziers. I believe so. <laughs> On to the next one. So I don't know how much time we'll have after I've lit all these braziers, because I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, uh, come here. How'd you come to be in these lands? Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation, and so I set to demonstrate my worth by coming to him with something I knew he'd value. A mystic well of knowledge. Or rather, I should say, a well of water laced with enough mystic mushrooms to make a god see visions. Wow. Oh, he was rightly impressed. Can't say for sure what he saw that led him to try gouging out his own eyes, but I managed to restrain him before he finished the job. And we'll pick this up later. I really like having a mirror. I know I've said it. All, I know I've said it a few times, but I really just do enjoy the fact that he's here to give backstory and stuff like that. And everybody knows this uh, Greek mythology or Norse mythology. Another name, Hilder. It's as if they've been made into a memorial to the Valkyries. <laughs> All right, so I guess this is another Valkyrie. It looks like we have two more. Those two, yeah, 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 cause I have six at eight. I love that move. So every one has their own god, or that I don't really know that. That's Baldur's, isn't it? Yes. And you brought it down to save me. It was very heroic. That's Baldur's dragon. Yeah, we we did hop on that thing and gave it the hands. 
Okay, so he this? gouged out his own eye. Because of mushrooms you gave him? Aye. You know what? I'll tell this one later. I don't know what that sound was. Like, is that a dragon or some shit? And I realize this is the world serpent because we're like right next to it. I think it's huge, dude. Another name. Gunner. Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder. Perhaps the Queen? Oh my, I was just about to say, watch this shit be like the the boss Valkyrie. And <laughs> I don't know if I'm prepared for, for fighting the boss Valkyrie, dude, because the Valkyries themselves are a bitch to fight. I, sh I surely hope it's not like a massive boss. But I have a feeling that is exactly what it's going to be, if I'm being honest with you. So Odin gouged out his own eye because of mushrooms you gave him? Aye. Then I persuaded him it has been his sacrifice made for an even higher form of sight to be bestowed. Blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. But I can just tell you the story later. Yeah, it didn't look like this was going to work. It looked like I was going to have to go around, so... That's what we're doing. Fast travel. Oh, all right. So I don't think I've been here. Not 100 percent sure. I think it's huge, dude. This part, really? I don't remember being here. Here's the dragon. Huh, looks like you can shoot that with something. Something grain related. This is the way I came up, isn't it? How do I get there, man? This has actually been a, a mystery every time I come to this island. What? Dude, I don't know how to get here, man. I, I really don't know. Like, uh... I missed something? Uh, you hear the difference that the world serpent makes whenever you're down here with the echo? 
compared to whenever you're up there right next to him. It's pretty cool. So this is just a way to get up to that one thing. Haven't got that yet, though. So this is the last brazier, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I need to take my boat and go through this other thing. So it's, a, it's not something over here. What happened to the city? I'm not entirely sure, lad. It was abandoned long before Jormungandr came to town and flooded the place. Hmm. I wonder what it was like to live here. We can beach over here. So Odin gouged out his own arm. Because of mushrooms you gave him? Aye. I used to think he never caught on. But the day he took my eye, I realized he had never been fooled. I'm gonna pick this up later. I know some people might be like trying to hear this damn story. <laughs> uh, I wonder if this is gonna actually go up to the where I need to go or if it's gonna take me back to where I came from, kinda. Oh hello, how do you do? <gasps> yes! What? Ooh, a little reality tear too. Alright, let's see if this is a fight. It is a fight. I don't even know what I'm fighting. That's how we do things around here, guys. What is this? Increased talismans. Hopefully this isn't a Valkyrie mission. Alright, we got a Traveler. The one that has a shield too, so... Oh, Jesus! Oh, he went for the double. I was not expecting it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna give uh, do the hands so that way you can see the stun. Nah, we're not gonna be able to do it. It's just gonna kill him. Yep. Get a fast travel here. All right, last one. Last one. Ulrich, look. That should really help us fight the rest of the corrupted Valkyries. 
Valkyrie's Bane reduces all damage for Valkyrie's attacks by 5%, stacks up to 15% max. Huh. So if I'm going to go on a Valkyrie Purge here, I just put on the Valkyrie's Bane. Is it like, what, it's an attachment or what? It's a socket? Yeah, Valkyrie's Bane. Increases my uh, strength and my runic, which is nice. And reduces the damage from attacks from Valkyries. So that's pretty cool whenever I'm fighting them. Not something I would wear all the time. Um, but something that's useful for them. Although, I'm not going to lie to you guys. After lighting all of these, I did expect more. I expected much more. I thought, like, something bigger would happen. You know what I mean? Like, that's... Maybe at least an epic gear, but it was just legendary. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of underwhelming. I'm not. I think a lot of people expected more as well. I had somebody uh, commenting or commenting on one of my videos saying um, they're curious as to what's going to happen whenever I light all the braziers. So hopefully that wasn't a disappointment for you. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I expected a bit more. I did. But who knows, man? Maybe that that's gonna make a big difference. I know whenever you kill all the Valkyries, I, I expect something big to happen at that point. You know, maybe you get like some cool, some sort of cool Valkyrie armor. Because I remember reading something saying that you get Valkyrie armor. Um, some here in my codex. or I can't remember where it was at. But anyway, so that was that. Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Was it a little bit underwhelming? Or as did you expect something like that? I don't know. I myself, a little bit dis uh, disappointed. Anyways, so we're, gouged out his own eye. we're gonna let this story of play out. You gave him? Aye. He knew I'd outwitted him, called the lesson wisdom, and hired me to make sure from then on I was on his side. And for a long, long time I truly was. Doesn't mean he didn't hold a grudge. So that's the end of that story? Well, damn. I figured, like, we've been postponing this whole story the entire time during this episode. Figured I had like a little bit more to it. I figured like somebody's like dying to know what happens in the story But anyways, uh, we're gonna end this part here uh, Thank you guys for watching and the next part. We're probably gonna be going towards the main story um, Yeah, man, that's what we're gonna be doing in the next part. But any anyways, once again, thank you for watching this one. I'll see you then